Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, JJ Prime here, back with another video. And today we will be taking a look at my favorite character from the Transformers franchise. This is Transformers Studio Series number 5, Voyager Class, Optimus Prime. Yes, the leader of the Autobots himself. So here I am, and there he is in his truck mode, which is... Which is a nice looking truck mode, I will say. Um, the only problem I have with the truck mode is uh, the rims aren't painted and the smokestacks are a little bit too short. Um, I don't know why Hasbro decided to make the, sh to make the smokestacks so short, but eh, it's okay. It's alright, but you can see his feet right there at the back of the truck, just hanging out right there, so, but overall it's a nice looking truck mode. Um, I believe the blue is the same blue that they use for the other Optimus Primes, but the red is a little bit darker for some reason. I don't know why they use the darker red, but um, there is another spot of red that is super, super dark for some reason. I don't know why, but <laughs> but but anyway, so let's get in close here so we can see the details of the grill right here. It's a nice molded grill, but why is it so dark? Why? Why is it so dark? It's not painted silver. It's like darkish grayish color why what's happening so um got a nice molded in red autobot symbol right there on the grill which is really nice love the flames the flaming details that's accurate so yeah overall it's a nice looking truck mode but why is it so dark the colors why is it so dark and muted i don't know what's happening what's going on here but <laughs> So, but um, yeah, overall it's a nice looking truck mode, I will say. I like the truck mode, I think it's really, really good. Um, uh, he does roll, as rolling things should, ready for rolling. So, we're gonna bring in some comparisons. Uh, for comparison, here he is with the Decepticon Lockdown. Shush! You shush! Okay? I'm gonna call him a Decepticon because, look, 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 Decepticon symbol. To me, he's a Decepticon. To you, he may not be a Decepticon, but to me, he's always a Decepticon, okay? I follow what TF Wiki says. <laughs> so, don't, don't, if you, if you argue in the comment section, I will disable the comment section. I don't think you want that, so do not do it. Don't do it, so. <laughs> anyway, so, there you go. Here he is with Arch Nemesis Megatron from Revenge of the Fallen. Well, it is, it is definitely because they're both from Revenge of the Fallen. Because this guy was built as Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime, so duh, Revenge of the Fallen. <laughs> so there you go. Here he is with the big boy Grimlock, and you can't, you can't see his face. There he is. There you have Grimlock with his partner Optimus Prime and you know I think that's a good scale because the truck is definitely smaller than a dinosaur so there you go and just one more for comparison here he is with the Wave 1 leader class blackout and you can see how they look together and I think that's good scale I mean that's that's how they should scale, right? A truck scaling with a helicopter, duh. So, I mean, the helicopter is always flying, so we don't know what, how it scales with the truck, but I, I guess that's accurate, but anyway, so. There you go! Okay, so the comparisons are out of my way, so now we can get down to the accessories that he does include. He does include his swords, yes! He includes his arm blades. Yes, yeah, so they're done in a nice uh, translucent orange plastic with a uh, little bit of Cybertronian writing molded in there, which is pretty cool. And the, it's painted with the, uh, the dark gray color, which, which I think for the swords, it works. It works really well. And there are tabs right here, so these do store in truck mode. So they, there are slots right here on the bottoms of his feet, and you just take the swords and just tab them in to the back of the truck and there you go so 
I mean, it, it kind of looks ridiculous, but hey, it's all right what it is. It is what it is, but there are slots on top here, so I guess you can actually take these and, and plug them here. Hey, 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 I mean, they're meant for robot mode storage, but you can plug them there if you want so he can actually drive and, you know, skewered subcons, you know, at the, uh, at the knees, you know, <laughs> just... That's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. But anyway, so let's just remove the swords, put them off to the side, and now we shall get started with the transformation into robot mode. So, first thing you want to do, you want to take these gas cans right here and just untap them, raise them up, untap them, raise them up, and this whole section right here will just come up right here, and these will flip up like so, just rotate it around like so, flip it up, rotate it, so they, so that, look like that. Uh, the instructions tell you to have it rotated the other way, but I, for me, that is the proper way of transforming the backpack, because if you rotate it the other way, it's just, no, it just doesn't look good. Uh, <laughs> so, now you want to take this wheel section, and we're going to untab it, and bring it down, it's on the double hinge, just bring this down first, and bring that up, tab that in, and the same thing on the other side, just bring that down, and tab that in, so, there you go, so now, you want to split the legs, like so, and first, you want to flip up the wheel, like so, just bring this panel down, like so, and just rotate the foot around, and there you have a leg all done, so, same thing on your side. <laughs> Same thing on the other side. This is where my tongue stops working. Just flip that up, bring that down, and rotate the foot around like so. So there you have his legs all done. But can you do it? Can you do the gur truck? Can you do the gur truck? Hey, you can actually do the gur truck mode. Oh, look at that. The gur truck. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> So, there you go. Um, so now you want to do what you want to do. You want to take these sections right here, just untab them, and rotate back like so. Same thing here. Untab them, rotate it back like so. And there you go. As so you want to untab this grill section right here, untab it, split it in half like so. And you want to unfold his arms, just bring them down like so. You want to take these shoulder pieces and just flip them up, flip them up. Yeah, this transformation is pretty crazy, so uh, <laughs> so now I want to take these sections and bring them over and tab that in. Bring them over and tab that in, so just bring that down. And this will give you some clearance to rotate the head around, like so. And there you go. A hey, focus. Focus camera. There we go. So now I'm going to raise this section up and just tab that in and what you want to do what, what do you want to do now what do you want to do and you want to take these sections right here take these little pieces and just close them up like so oh yeah I want to bring down the waist section right here and clip that into place rotate the waist 180 and you want to take this whole section right here and just put that back let it rest on this piece right here just bring that back, and that will rest on that piece. So now you want to take these arms to split them, and just bring them over and tab that in, tab that in, and there you go. Bring down the arms, rotate the arms around 180 so that the elbows are oriented properly. So now you want to take the fist and flip that up, and just wrap this around the arm, just like so. And there you have an arm all done. So now the same thing on the other side. Just rotate it 180. Just want to make sure that the fist, the, the fist, the fist, mm, the fist. You have to flip up the fist and just wrap this around the arm, just like so. And there you go. There you have the arms and the legs all done. So now I take these sections right here, rotate them around, and that would just tab in to that slot right there because there is a tab sticking out, like so. There is a slot, and then it will tab in right there, like so. So now for the backpack, if you want to, you can actually leave it fat, flat like that. But I don't like the look of that because 
if you have if you have the backpack just laying flat, then it will definitely kill the silhouette of the robot mode. So what I will do is just take this hinge and just raise that up and take this hinge and bring that down like so. And to me that looks so much better. And that won't kill the silhouette right there. So so now you don't see those two flat panels sticking out, but anyway, so and after you're done you have a nice looking robot mode for Optimus Prime, the leader of the Autobots. And um, yeah, the robot mode actually looks quite good in my opinion. But one thing I don't get is the look of the chest. It's not perfect. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, the chest is not definitely not accurate. Yeah, it's not really as accurate as I would like, but eh. It is what it is. From the bottom, the legs, they look good. They look pretty screen accurate. I mean, for the most part, he is screen accurate, so. Except for the chest. The chest doesn't look good. <laughs> so, let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. That's a good looking head sculpt. I love that head sculpt. Really, really cool. Yeah, I prefer the head sculpt with the mouth plate right there. So, yeah, really, really nicely done. Uh, yeah, the, this this piece right here, this metallic dark red plastic. Why did they use that <laughs> for for the chest? It's like so dark. Eh, it doesn't look good. I know. Okay, I know. I understand that he is painted in the colors that when he was dead. But but please, please, please. In Revenge of the Fallen, he was not dead. Okay. I mean, in the beginning of Revenge of the Fallen, he was not dead. His colors were still bright. But, eh, it's okay. It is what it is. Um, I wish there was more paint on the arm, like this piece. It should, be, should have been painted blue, but eh, it is what it is. I do like the detail on the hips, and that's pretty cool. That's pretty accurate painting. Yeah, really cool. I like that. Really, really nicely done. Now, this mold was actually reused for... Um, for the second Optimus Prime and the Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime. So we will take a look at those figures uh, in, a, in a little bit. So we will take a look at the uh, the second version of Studio Series Optimus Prime. Um, number 32 Optimus Prime. We will take a look at that tomorrow. Then after that we will take a look at Leader Class Jetfire. Because Jetfire can combine with the second version of Optimus Prime slash the Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime. So because Dark of the Moon Prime and the and the uh, 2007 Prime uh, are the same mold. So with with the chest detailing is a little bit different, but overall it's the same mold. But anyway, <laughs> so but yeah, pretty. It's a nicely done design. I I do like the design of Movie Prime. So really cool. So head articulation. Uh, it's on a ball joint. He can't really rotate a full 360 due to the way it's molded. But he can look left and right. He can look up a little bit. He can look down that much. Uh, the shoulders can rotate a full 360. These little blue pieces can move out of the way for the shoulders. So the arms can move in and out like so. He does have a bicep swivel and elbow joint of 90 degrees. And thankfully, he does have a wrist swivel. Hey! He has a wrist swivel, yay! <laughs> so he does have a waist swivel. Ah, that's that's cool. That's really that's cool. That's cool. I love it. I love that. And the hips can move up that far. I mean, the legs can move up that far. Can move back that far. And of course, he can do. He can't really do the full splits. Apparently, he does have a thigh swivel, and he does have a knee joint. Like a very deep knee bend, really cool. And he does have ankle tiltage, and the feet can move up and down. So, oh yeah, you can actually move these knee caps, knee pieces around if you want to. So, there you go. So, hey, stand straight, Brian, because we need to continue with the review. So, now you can arm him up with his weapons. So, let me bring in the swords first. So here are the swords, right here. So, I don't know how you're supposed to connect them to the fist, but I guess for the instructions, they tell you to take this post and underslung, and just just plug it into the fist like that. Um, 
I thought, you know, just plug in like that, but I guess the instructions, you know, well, the, obviously the instructions tell you to do that if you want to. I mean, I mean, that, that's, that works. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, that works. That definitely works. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It kind of looks like that the blade is coming out of his arm, which is pretty freaking cool. I quite dig that. I like that very much. Uh, you can actually, uh, if you leave this flat, you can use those slots for for storage if you want to. But I choose not to because he has to have his swords because he's pretty cool with the swords, right? Right? Yes, right. So <laughs> now we can continue on with the comparison. Here he is with the Lux class locked down, and um, uh, I can't really remember how locked down was supposed to scale with Prime. I mean, I guess that 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 works definitely. Um, I mean, in Age of Extinction, locked down was really tall uh, compared to Prime. Um, so I'm not really sure on how he's supposed to scale with Prime. Uh, I guess in the beginning of Age of Extinction, like like one of the uh, early scenes of Age of Extinction when Lockdown was fighting against Evasion Mode Prime, which is basically the same design right here with the difference in the chest. Um, I guess I guess uh, Lockdown was supposed to be short, but I don't think he's much shorter than that. I I don't think. I don't think so, but but I think that works. Definitely works. I mean, <laughs> so yeah, that I think that works. So there you go. Here he is with his arch nemesis slash former brother Megatron. So and you can see that Prime is definitely shorter than Megatron, as he should be. And don't they look nice together? They look really good together. I like that. I really like that. And you can actually recreate the scene where Megatron used this weapon to uh, to kill Optimus Prime. So that's pretty cool. I quite dig that. So there you go. Uh, here he is with his partner Grimlock. You can see how they scale with one another. Wait, let me raise up the camera a little bit because Grimlock is a big boy. He's definitely a huge boy. So um. I guess that scale, uh, maybe, maybe uh, Grimlock could be a little bit taller. What do you think? I think the scale works. Definitely works. I think it works. I think this should be the scale with the Dinobots, you know, so that Grimlock is not that tall. So, <laughs> yeah. There you go. And here he is with Blackout. Yeah, I know this is not Grindor, but, you know, Prime actually, you know, ripped off Grindor's head, which is basically that head. <laughs> so, there you go. There you go. And uh, just one more comparison, uh, just because here he is with the Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. So, I'm going to bring down the camera a little bit so you can see the two designs. Two different designs of Optimus Prime from the movies, and uh, yeah, they look really different. <laughs> it's very, very different. So, this is like the Michael Bay universe, and this is the Travis Knight universe. So, yeah, <laughs> so there you go. So, there you have Optimus Prime. Um, this figure, um, uh, I, I still like the figure. He's still enjoyable to mess with. Um, I love the transformation. The transformation is quite complex, but the transformation works. It's very smooth and enjoyable. I still really, really enjoy this figure. Um, the molding on this figure, uh, I would say that the chest is definitely not that accurate to the one in the film, but they, they, they did a good job. They, did, they, they tried, okay? They tried. Until they improved for the second version, which we'll look at. We, we will look at that second version of Prime tomorrow, so we so stay tuned for that. Um, I do like his weapons. The blades are really, really cool. The arm blades. I like the swords. They're really nicely detailed, nicely done. 
Uh, the truck mount is pretty pretty cool. I love the truck mount. It's really really strong. It's very cohesive. Um, the only thing about the truck mount is that the colors are so dark and the rims are not painted and also the smokestacks are a bit too short. <laughs> I did, he has baby smokestacks. That's right. That's what it is. He has baby smokestacks. The smokestacks are too short and too too tiny. They're too little. They should be tall and lean. But anyway, so eh, it is what it is. But um, but overall, I I still like the figure, but it's not it's not perfect. It's not a perfect figure by any means. But hey, it is what it is. Like they all say, not all Studio Series figures are winners. So some of them are losers. Um, I won't. I I I will not say that this guy is not is a loser. I I'm not gonna say that he is a loser. Um. I mean, he still passes. He still passes for the transformation, um, and for the paint, for the truck mode. Uh, the robot mode is still good, but not, not perfect. Not yet. But anyway, so, so yeah. Um, as far as ranking him from a scale of one to ten, I think, you know what? I think I'm just gonna give him a uh, a seven and a half out of ten. He still gets more than half. But there are a lot of, there are lots of things here for this figure to improve, so. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for today's video. So, folks, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any future reviews of new upcoming figures and old figures. And speaking of new upcoming figures, uh, I did order the, uh, the Transformers Earthrise Wave 2 Deluxes, so reviews. Will be coming up pretty soon. Uh, Alicon, I'm really excited for that. So, yeah, just just be patient, and it will come for you. So it come, it will come for you. So, yeah, it will come out pretty soon. So stay tuned. Uh, so yeah, and also, of course, do not forget to hit that notification bell icon once you subscribe because that notification bell icon is very very important. It allows you, you know, it it lets you know on when a new video is up and ready so and I think that's pretty much all there was to say so they have the Transformers Studio Series number 5 Voyager Class Optimus Prime and this is JJ Prime saying Autobots transform and roll out peace out guys